precious plastic masks. Today we will be showing you how to operate the injection machine. So now we will go through a checklist of items that you need. First of all, you need the plastic that you're going to use. This is some shredded PP. Then you need the first aid kit and some safety materials like safety glasses, working gloves and heat protective gloves. You need an active carbon mask, a small toolkit, a bucket with cold water to put your mold in, some paper towels, the mold itself, an iron and a, a metal strip and a plank. Then you need the car jack, an electric drill and the dustpan. And also you need a different nozzle if you're gonna use HDPE plastic instead of PP plastic. Before we start, we put on our safety gear. And after this, we will plug in the machine. First, we're going to do a visual inspection of the machine. Here we have the filter system, and here we have the injection machine. When you start off, notice that you put the lever in the lever holder. But later, when you're going to do the pressing, you're going to remove the lever and uh, move it downwards. Furthermore, we have the control box with the main power switch. Uh, here we have the hopper where you insert plastic. Going down we have the barrel with the heating elements and at the bottom we have the nozzle where the plastic comes out. Before you turn on the machine, screw the nozzle tight onto the barrel. Position the tube on the hopper before you turn on the machine. Switch on the main power switch. Never touch the heating elements or the elements connected to it with your bare hands as they will get very, very hot. Now we're going to set the temperature of the injection machine. Depending on the type of plastic that you're going to use, you need to put in a different temperature. The green uh, value that you see on the screen is the temperature that you're going to set and the red value is the temperature that is measured by the sensors. For PP, we're going to put in a temperature of 190 degrees. To change the temperature, you press the button set. Now one of the green numbers will start blinking. You can change the blinking number by pressing up or down. To go to a different number, you press the left button and you can change which number you're changing. When you're done, you press set again. Now that we have set up the machine, we will start feeding plastic into the hopper. When the barrel is full, you can lower the lever to push the plastic down. You can use a tool to move it in there. You can repeat this step until you've put enough plastic in the barrel. When you're done with this step, you can put the filter tube back onto the hopper. When all the plastic has disappeared from the hopper, we have to wait for a bit for the plastic to melt. When you see a little bit of plastic dripping out the nozzle, it's time to take the next action. First, we have to do a little test pressing. Press out the res residues from last time. If you see that the plastic that is coming out is a toothpaste-like consistency, we will clamp a metal strip under the nozzle so that nothing more will come out. Now we are going to prepare the mold and after that we're going to heat it. First check that your mold is clean. Now we're going to clamp it together with these bolts. You only have to screw them hands tight. Now we are going to heat the mold. Put the iron on the mold and wait for a bit. You know it's hot enough when you feel the heat a little bit through your working gloves. It's warmed up, we're gonna mount the mold under the nozzle. Take off the residues so that you can take out the mold from the other side. Try to wiggle the knife in between and carefully try to get it out. Here we have our hexagon tile. 
After this, we still need to, re to remove the parts that stick out, but for the rest, it's perfect. Now we can choose if you want to do another pressing or empty the barrel. In this case, we're going to empty the barrel and clean the machine. While the nozzle is still hot, screw it off. Use a screwdriver to uh, empty the hole of the nozzle. Now I'm going to make a ball of the paper towels and push it through the barrel. process until it's totally clean. Use only one paper towel and make a tiny ball, otherwise it will get stuck. Now you can turn the machine off. That was it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video made a pressing impression on you.